patients and he so was getting sure nervous now. He was they're actually receiving until he was go They're getting nervous now. Thank you so much. So now let's see who had those doubts. I agree with you. There were doubts. Let's see who had doubts. This thing stopped tripping on me. There we go. Chapter 10, verse 94. So if you are in doubt, in parentheses, talking about Muhammad, Muhammad was having doubts. What was he supposed to do when he had doubts about that which we revealed to you? Then ask those who have been reading the scripture before you. The truth has certainly come to you from your Lord. So never be among the doubters. Mm. Don't worry about it, Muhammad. Could just come to Christians. Come to the Jews and Christians. They'll help you out. Okay, so again, countering your argument. Can see your point. Countering your argument. <laughs> what do the Jews believe in? They believe in one God, right? What does this have to do with Jews? Exactly. Because they're people of the scripture, right? Jews are people of the scripture. Not Jews only and Christians the Christians are people of the scripture. Oh, the, when, you the, go the, to, when you go to Christians and we ask you, do you believe in one God? What you're you changing saying? the topic. No, I'm not. I'm on the topic. Okay, I'm good. On the topic. So focus on what I'm we're on just the talking topic. about. Yeah, I am does, on it the say, topic. does it say that the message of the prophets, the scriptures, was there during the time of, the, of Muhammad in possessions of the Jews and Christians? Yes or no? What does that have to do with my argument? I'm arguing Your about argument started off a, a. M. Your no, argument you said, started you off said, by you saying said Muhammad that we, that that we didn't have no, the script. You brought up a whole new argument. A. M. Hello, hello. These chop people. Your argument, A. M., was that the Jews and the Christians didn't have the scriptures. That was your argument. So I'm now showing you from your. <laughs> I'm showing you from your Quran. You were wrong. Now I want you argument why Islam is wrong. I, I can't see... Um, yeah, yeah, I got you. Allah. Very good. My, the, now the argument why the Quran is wrong, why Islam is wrong? Because you sure it you yeah, prove it. Because it confirms our books, and our books say that Islam is wrong. So therefore, Islam is wrong. It's not referring to your books. Literally, you, you literally just According to the Quran, it is. It's not refer literally, just really? agrees. Allah, Brother just logic. Agrees. Brother logic. To your wait, 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 Where does it say that it confirms the Bible? Nowhere does the Quran say Bible. Brother logic. Okay, go, okay, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Please, 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 because this is really fun. Proud Muslim, can you go to chapter 5, verse 45 for me? Yeah, okay, just read it. Otherwise, I have to close my... TikTok and go uh, to Google and uh... you know what I care that much about you and your knowledge that I want you to take a pause go read it and come back I really care I really do I will wait for you yeah that's what I'll, 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 I'll bring you back in the what was the verse chapter 5 Sir Amida, verse 45 okay it's so really where does it talk about this. does now, remember, it say remember what you said you said that your Quran is not talking about my Bible. So, and think, remember yeah, nowhere that does the nowhere okay, does the Quran say Bible. I want you no to do it. No worries. It says Kitab, right? No worries. So, just uh, like that, keep this thought in the mind that you said that the Bi the Quran does not mention my Bible. So, go read chapter five, verse forty-five, in light of that thought, and then come back. You can also read Surah forty-six, where also the Torah is confirmed. Hold on, there you go, there you go, there you go. How in the world can they say that the Quran is not talking about our Bible when it literally, I literally a lie for a life and an oh eye for an eye? No, I mean, they kind of added on a few parts. <laughs> <laughs> had, to, had to put an Islamic twist to it. But they're literally almost word for word quoting the book of Exodus. They are. <laughs> How in the Same. world are they going to say that our that the Quran's not talking about our Bible when it literally quotes it word for word almost? No one got kicked, bro. If you want, you can come back. Proud yeah, Muslim, you can probably, come back. The he was, only he was logic, off the, the app too long. The, it got it, only, it disconnected him. The only logic. Okay, since they, you want to talk they, about they your Bible so badly, what no, language did Jesus speak? I just speak? want to ask you, dear brother. I just want to ask you because you <laughs> Okay, so where does it say no, Bible? No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's move on to your Bible, you know? Okay, what, you know Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's I move just on want, to your Bible. I just want let's to ask God one logic question. Respond. I just let want to ask logic one question. Respond. And then we're going to go. I just want to ask one question and then we're going to go again. I, you said that the Bible, that the, the Quran came to correct. I just want to ask you, when did to the confirm, corruption happen? To confirm. He did, he did come to confirm or to correct? 
both because the Jew, the Christians believed in the Trinity, which okay. was not what God okay. ordered them okay. to do during the time okay. of Okay, it's Asa. not a problem. So it's, it's, not, came... it's another topic. There's another topic, Trinity. But I'm just asking you, when did the corruption happen? After the Islam or before the Islam? Well, I mean, way before Islam. So how can, can say, he confirm can say, it? Um, what, did, what did you say? So how can the Quran confirm something that was corrupted, that he normally came just to like, correct? Just like uh, brother, uh, brother Shaheen, I think, said, there is still, I'm not saying the entire Bible is corrupted. There is still how can you then pick up in truth? There are still like parts in, of it which... In, no, no, because in the Quran it says explicitly in Jil and the Torah and Zabur. And it goes even further, it's called the book of Job and the book of David, Zabur. So we have here we have here a problem because the book of David also quotes uh, Jesus Christ being seen with the Father when he says, "My Lord says, my Lord come and sit at my right hand uh, until I make your enemy your footstool." So this is there are a lot of things that that shoot the Islam down because the, the Islam is confirming was not, it, the previous it, revelation the was not preserved, so it was changed. It was changed. So the, Quran, when, 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 so the last when? revelation, the Quran when, stop, came. Stop, so what stop. is the Everybody problem? Stop. Everybody stop. Proud Muslim. Did you see the verse that you're supposed to read? Yeah, I, I, I saw it, but your claim is that we are supposed to follow the Bible. Nowhere does it wait, say Wait, wait, wait a second. Saying you this, said, but nowhere in a Christian does it say the Bible. Proud Muslim, you said that the Quran is not talking about my Bible. So then, why is your Quran literally word for word quoting my Bible? Well, yeah, I'd, I'd like to answer that. No, 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 no. Where does it quote your Bible? Proud Muslim has the answer. Go ahead, proud Muslim. Where does it quote your Bible? And second of all, I said. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did I you, said it. Hey, let me, the, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Did you read the verse? Yeah, yeah, I read it. But let okay, me talk. so did you so, did you see where it talked about uh, eye for an eye, tooth for tooth, nose for nose? Yeah. Okay. So what's the problem? It's quoting the book of Exodus. Do you didn't know no, that? No, it's, it's not. It's not quoting. So, sim so similarities doesn't prove anything. You guys, you guys literally copied from out from, from, from our previous revelations. Really? So, literally, yeah. So, so wait a second. So, can I can I answer you, that? You know, real so wait, wait, have, no, we no, have watch, similarities watch, because. Wait, wait. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Watch. Hey, Kwame, can you can you please bring up, uh, uh, bring up, bring up the verse again? All right. We're going to start out by the You're, you're saying that the, Quran, that the Quran confirms the Bible, correct, the NGO? Yeah, hold, hold on, why? We're on, a, we're on a line of thinking, okay? Just hold on a second. Go to verse, uh, go to verse, oh, oh, there, that's perfect. But, but it also says that Jesus why? was the son why? of Mary, can you, though. Can you please hold on for a second, my, why? Thank you so much, bro. Just please respect the conversation right now, okay? Thank you. Um, a uh, proud Muslim. Where does it say God, that we've ordained this? Now law? let me respond. Okay, now let me respond. If where A came where, before where B, that doesn't mean B came from A. That's literally a fallacy. That's literally a post hoc no fallacy. Where does it say? Where does it say where this law is found? Do you know what you mean? Where does it say that this law is found? Torah, but thank you. Is it, your Torah. Is it referring to your Torah? Beautiful. Oh, you want to know how we know it's referring to our Torah? Because now continue to read, uh, Kwame. When? A life for a life. Yep. An eye for an eye. A nose, a nose for a nose. An ear for, for a ear. A tooth for, for a tooth. tooth. Wounding for <laughs> retaliation. So wait a second. Where in the okay. Okay. so even you, even though it also it got even God logic. also God it's also in uh, God logic. what you're One claiming second. in your Bible excuse doesn't me, mean excuse it doesn't me. mean it refers excuse to that. Excuse me. It doesn't mean it referred to that. So the only Torah that we have that it literally is pulling this from is Exodus chapter twenty or twenty one. One of those. How do you not? The how book do of Exodus. You, referring to the previous revelation, which also could have it. It literally quotes it. So, matter of fact, so no, so now, watch this, guys. Since now I have given you evidence where I literally have this quote in my Torah, can you show me a different Torah other than the one that I have that has this reference? Go ahead. Basically, there's something in the which also is in the, in your Torah, and you're claiming then it's, refer, it's referring to your Torah. Well, is the, your is that your claim? That's, that's to not. The Torah that is, so. so it can it can't even refer to your Torah because God's word 
can't contain inconsistencies, which the Quran says, state. Uh -oh. Your 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 whoa, Bible contains inconsistencies, so it can't well, refer to that. So the well, confusion is, is referring to the previous well, revelations. Well, guess what? Case closed. That just means that just means that your Quran is confirming a book full of inconsistencies, and therefore your Quran is false. Thank you so much. No, it's not confirming the book of. Uh, it's huh? not referring to your book. It's not referring to your book because you just said your um, own book has inconsistencies. Prove it. Find me another Torah that has this or, or that, has, that has this law. If it can be, so it can your, your mic is your mic is so bad. Uh, we can move. We can move on. No, we're not. We can't move on. We're stuck. You're stuck. Wait a minute. You're stuck. Yeah, so you can't also disprove it. You can't also disprove other revelations having show me, show this. Me revelations Torah. having this. Show me another Torah that has this law. So that's not um, Exodus. Can you disprove or, previous revelations having this? Excuse me. Show me. Show me a previous revelation that had it. No, no. You have to disprove the previous revelations having it. Because that's your claim. That's your claim. <laughs> no, you are saying your previous revelations do, don't have it. How can you prove that? This uh, The Exodus is the previous revelation. Do you have another yeah, previous so revelation even, that had it? And how that's do you, how, how you know, say. How do you know it, it in isn't the Tuba, another and previous in the Muslim, 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 Muslim. Do you have another quote unquote previous revelation? Other than the Torah that I have, that has the I do not have it right now, but that doesn't mean it, it okay, wasn't beautiful. in the previous so revelations. So they don't even make an argument when you don't have any evidence to back it up. Just, bro, just submit to your Quran and believe in my Torah. Submit, because <laughs> I literally said it a couple of times. The Quran literally says God's word, um, preserved word, doesn't contain inconsistencies. If it refers, well, okay. it can't refer to your book because um, your book contains inconsistencies. And Again, I always say this, and um, that just yeah, means that's, 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 your Quran, that's your response that just means that your Quran is confirming a corrupted book, and therefore your Quran is false for saying that a corrupted book is true. You that's keep it. digging yourself into a bigger hole, bro. It's just like You're literally bringing claims which have been uh, debunked ten years ago by uh, even my Zachar Nike. This claim, bro, your claim, your claim doesn't make did sense. Did you say Zachar Nike? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. Aww. That's 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 cute. He did. He, ref he refused to claim also twenty years ago or something. Oh, did okay, your claim bring doesn't his, make sense at all. Right now. It doesn't refer to your book. Okay. You can't bring his prove reputation. it. You can't prove it that it's actually referring to your book. Okay, how about this? How about you prove to me that it's not by showing me a different Torah that has this law in it? Show me. No, you have to, you have to prove it because your claim is that it, it Do you doesn't hear refer to, uh, to, to, um, to previous revelations. Okay, then, how, then, can thank you you for, how can you be so certain thank you, about it? Thank you for participating. Thank you for participating, man. You're done. You're yeah. Done. Thank, thank you for how participating. How am I done? Just thank because there is absence of evidence does not mean there is evidence of absence. Of, how are you doing, like guys? Okay. You understand me? Yeah, do you have any evidence of anything that you guys are talking about? Of a Torah that has this law that's not my Torah? Nope. Yeah. That's, that's a fallacy. Because just because there is absence of evidence doesn't mean there is evidence of absence. So can we, can we agree that we have no reason to believe that there is anything that the Quran is talking about other than the Torah that I have? So far. Well, I mean, if you, it depends, because again, there are some uh, verses in it that are, uh, that contains truth in it, but there are also majority verses who what do not contain truth in it. The Quran says, "You uh, you got cut off, bro." Hey, I think he's done to you. Um... Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Why? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, the Quran says in chapter 2, uh, verse 75, that the Jews, they understood it, and then they altered the text. So we are not, we're not saying the Torah is full of lies. It still has some uh, truth in it. It would be dumb for us to say that the Torah doesn't have any truth in it, because the Torah also says that uh, God is one. You, you understand? Yeah. So according to your Quran, it doesn't say that they distorted the text of it. It talks about how they lied about the scriptures, distorted the meanings. Um, that's what Ibn Abbas says as well. He says that none of Allah's words, none of Allah's books can be changed. They only distort the meanings and interpretations of it. So, yeah. So um, how is that any different yeah. than what I just said? 
Well, you're trying to say that the actual text has been corrupted while Ibn Abbas is saying, no, not the text, but the meaning, the interpretation of it has been distorted, not the actual text itself. Well, so when you're like, for example, how you're saying in my Bible, there's truth, but also in my Bible, there's falsehood. That's not the opinion is that there's no falsehood in my in my scriptures. The falsehood comes when someone misinterprets my scriptures. You get it? Well, like if someone misinterprets the, the Quran, that doesn't mean the, the Quran additions and deletions in your Bible then. Okay. I'm sorry, say that again. How do you explain the additions of verses and deletion of verses in your Bible then? How do you explain the additions and uh, deletions of versions in your Quran? We, we, <laughs> we don't have any. Really? Yeah, we don't. Where are the, where are the, where's the verse of stoning? The verse of what? Stoning. I don't know what you're referring to. Aisha said that there was revealed in the Quran the verse of stoning and ten sucklings that was abrogated to five sucklings. So where are those verses? Where's the verse of stoning? And where's the verse that shows the ten sucklings or the five sucklings? Allah changed them for some other, for some better so verse. You just told me that the, that the Quran no, because, was just no, changed, there's, bro. There's, there's a difference between... Uh, <laughs> between uh, uh, how do I say this? Between this is, the Allah changed the verse. He does He didn't delete nor add the verses. He changed the verses. Your Bible, it has right. additions and I got you. Deletions so, in it. I I got you, brother. So look. So I'm gonna say the same thing. So those verses that were deleted and changed by Allah, I'm saying that God changed. Uh, the those deletions in the Bible, and uh, or added, whatever you find a deletion, God did it. Wherever you find an addition, God did it. God. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Allah. Am, am, am. Before Brian, Brian and Allah, la ilaha illallah. <laughs> A.M., whatever you just say, just, just stop all of that and come to Jesus. Okay, bro, you know what? For your religion is your religion and my religion is my religion. On the day of judgment, we will see. I'm going to watch Logan Paul That's fight the most Dennis. smartest thing you said all day. That's okay. the most smartest thing you said all day. Oh. One more, One more thing. God loved it. Are you going to present an actual argument which disproves Islam? Because these are arguments you are, have actually been encountered, they actually have been refuted by so many people. I was refuted by Zakir Naik. Oh, yeah, he also um, refuted it 20 years ago. So, Mash uh, Yeshua. Mash Yeshua. Mash Yeshua. Alhamdulillah, Yeshua. So when are you going to explain the Trinity? Because I also asked you this the last time, you couldn't explain it. When are you going to explain to me Tawheed? Oh, so you're replying, so I'm asking a question and you're replying with a question. This is how you discuss. I don't, I don't think you deserve my explanation of the Trinity when you can't explain Tawheed. I can explain Tawheed. Tawheed is just okay. believe in one God. That's it? One God. Yeah, one God. Uh, okay, one so, God, all, so, all, so so if I believe in one statute, who is my one God, do I, am I affirming Tawheed? No, you have to actually believe in um, God rather than, because the definition of God is that he's all powerful. Statue isn't all powerful. And statue is the well, creation. We have to believe in creator. According to my belief, if I believe in just that one statute who is God, I believe that he's all powerful. Yeah, but that's not actually monotheism. That's not the... Um, Why not? Real monotheism, because you're just Mono saying and this is you're just saying this is one God, but the definition wait, of God wait, 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 is wait, wait, wait. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you real quick. Hold on, it let me doesn't ask add a deeper meaning to it. What is it? Promise what do you mean? Them, promise them. What's the definition of God again? <laughs> uh, there are multiple definitions of God, but um, no, but the one you just gave. Uh, what did I say? Almighty, all powerful, <laughs> creator of everything. <laughs> So how can a statue create everything since it's a creation which is limited in the uni in the universe? So that's not actually monotheism. That's not Easy. you're just it's saying, yeah, that's one God. And I now that, uh, that that's Tahid. That's not Tahid. You're yeah, not actually I believe, believing in God. The same with the Bible. It's, it says in Genesis, God no, calls I, I to I forget. That's one not God. God was a statue, created all things. What's wrong with that? 
Huh? I believe that this one statue created all things and is all powerful. Am I afraid of That's not possible you? since you're seeing God. So, so you're seeing a so? limited. Uh, so you're seeing a limited version version of God. Uh, That's not possible oh, since God's so, limited. So God's seeing, beyond the universe. God's so seeing beyond everything. God, God's the, got you. God, got you. So seeing God means that you that it's not God if you can see Him, right? Um. Yeah, you can't see. Be careful. Um, God in the film. As you can't see God, you can't see God. We ah. in the universe can't see God because okay. God is supposed to be outside of the universe to make the universe. A creator cannot uh -huh. be in something and make um make it. So uh, so you're saying so once. It so when a builder makes a house, he also steps. He he is also outside. He makes it from the outside. You have to. Yeah. Can um, Allah be in his creation? What? Can Allah be in his creation? Can Allah enter his creation? Yeah. Um, I guess no. Or not in his full essence. Okay. Continue. Maybe God can enter his creation. Yes. So God can't enter into creation. God can't be seen. All of this, right? And if you can't see God, it would mean that he's limited. If he enters his creation, that would mean he's limited and therefore not God, correct? If you see, um, if you see God in essence, if you see Him, you can't see Him because He's supposed to be beyond everything. If He's beyond everything, if you can see Him, if you can fully see Him, that means you're seeing a limited version of God. So God's supposed to be unlimited. That's Very the good. definition of God. So, so seeing, if so seeing, if you see a version of God, that means you're seeing a limited form of Him, where He's like, a, where He's suppressed. He's not showing His fullness. And therefore, no, I don't God think you can see God at all. I don't think. Um, you I don't think, think God. I don't think God would enter his creation, because if you enter your creation, um, God doesn't need anything. Why does he? Why does he enter his creation? Because if you go into something, you need something in it. Or why do you go into it? But God doesn't need anything. So. Um, okay. So if that's the case, where does uh where does Allah go at the third of every night? He doesn't go in his full essence. What I was saying, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure about uh, what what um, what it is. Some people interpret it as um, angels um, going, but um, oh, it doesn't say angels. It says Allah. It says Allah descends to the lowest heaven. To the lowest heavens, yeah. Yeah. Allah descends to the lowest heaven. Uh, yes, I don't. Know. I don't. Uh, I know that hadith. What's your point on that? Oh, there it is. All right. So you see here, Sahih Muslim seven five eight B. Allah descends every night to the lowest heaven when one third of the first part of the night is over and says, I am the Lord, I am the Lord, who is there to supplicate me so that I answer him. So you see, it's not no angels, right? Nope, no angels. I don't see no angels. Let's make sure, let's make sure our Muslim friend understands that because, you know, sometimes <laughs> with, with, clear, with clear Islamic texts, they can be blurry to a Muslim. He needs a Christian to explain it to him. <laughs> Hey, Malari, are you um, Christian or Muslim? Malari? Malawi? Malari? Muslim. Malari. He said he's Muslim. Okay. Do you have any questions for us? I, I am a Muslim. You do. What? Do you have any questions? What he was discussing earlier that uh, the friend was books were was twisted, was dreaded, and he was denying that. Okay. 
It's not as not in his full essence. But you believe God enters the creation with is in his full essence. That's that the thing is right. Comprehend that's, your religion. The verse that we just read, right? It doesn't say full or quarter or half or any essence. It just says Allah. Yeah, but that's what it says. is. That's literally. No, that's not what it's saying. That's what it's saying, though. So you can't be out here adding on to other some words. That's the understanding behind it. And nah, that's um, no understanding. But that's not what the hadith says. Why should so I? We take, have, uh, why should I take what you understand and not the hadith? No, there's a scholarly consensus on that. So uh, all right. So the scholarly, according to the hadith, it says it doesn't say half. I, I'd rather take what the hadith says. Well, first of all, you also don't take something always literal because if we do that, then we can disprove the whole Bible. And um, what? Yeah, <laughs> wow. true because what? I can go to many. I can go through many verses, and you guys will say don't don't read it liter literal. Don't read it literal. Don't read it literal. No, the con no the context tells us now. Where in this context of the hadith tells you that this is figurative? Wait, can you just repeat what you just said? The context tells us in our Bible when we exegete, not eisegete, when we exegete the text. The context tells us when figurative language is being spoken. Where in the context of this hadith does it does it demonstrate that Allah descending to the lowest heaven at the third part of every night, asking who prays, um, is is figurative? Where does it say physical descent? Where does it say physical descent? What does it What does it mean to Come descend? On, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this, is, this is why I said good job thanks for participating Kwame you the one let him back up <laughs> you the one who let him back up <laughs> you're right you're right I did my bad. Oh, oh man wait. that's funny that's your that's your fault but you know it's I all just, good yeah this I can bro. see why you're laughing I take it I take it <laughs> This is all me, bro. <laughs> <laughs>